Yo, what's good, Gurney Gang? It's Gurney back with another video, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys an ASOS try on clothing haul. All right, so check me out, right? In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion and honest review on ASOS clothing because I feel like ASOS is one of those places that a lot of people go to shop for for affordable clothes, and I feel like I haven't really made a video dedicated to just ASOS, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys a handful of pieces that I picked up that I seen on the website. It was like, them joints right there are fire. So I'm really not gonna say too much. We gonna hop right into the video, but I did wanna say make sure you go down some Smash the like button if you like videos like this. This is the only way I'm really able to see your guys' engagement and see how much you really enjoy videos like this. So do that, subscribe if you haven't yet, and lastly, follow the boy on Instagram. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with some of the accessories that I picked up. And I did wanna say that this video is sponsored by Magic Links. So you can go down in the description and find all of these clothing pieces if you would like to buy them. But this specific hat right here is by Collision. Now, if you haven't shopped on ASOS before you pretty much have a couple of different sections of like brands that ASOS carry so they have like ASOS they have ASOS designs they have collision they have a couple of few different brands in there but this one right here is by collision and it is the wide brim hat in red now honestly when I seen this one of the biggest things that stood out to me is just the shape of the hat now some bucket hats don't look as good as others but this one has a really long brim and that's one thing that I I feel like looks really cool because you can pull it down and the dang it like covers your eyes and stuff like that but this is a suede bucket hat in red it really goes with a lot of my more creative type outfits and it's literally only 19 bucks now I feel like it's very much worth the price this isn't like a super thin hat it's not like the world's thickest hat but it's like uh, a regular bucket hat you feel me so I definitely feel like it's well worth the money I rock this joint like it's a designer piece so there's that so moving on we have the ASOS design slouchy crossbody bag in this black puffer colorway now this bag right here is really just like a black puffer bag I grabbed this because I feel like this is gonna be one of them shoulder bags that most people are gonna be going after and having a puffer bag goes with a lot of this like fall winter stuff because I know you right here you watching you gonna get you a puffer jacket so this joint is probably gonna match along with that um it isn't like the highest quality of puffer but it's also only 15 bucks so i think it's well worth the price though i wouldn't be surprised if like maybe that joint got caught on something and ripped a little bit but it's 15 bucks bro you feel me so I don't know this one's kind of like up in the air you can buy it if you want something for just 15 bucks but there's also other options now moving on we got the asos design crossbody crochet knit bag now this one is really unique i've been kind of looking for like a knit type of bag i don't know if this one is really gonna be one that i wear a ton just based off the colorway and the pattern on it but i feel like it was fire when i seen it on the website and i think it was made really well as well so basically what you have is like this knit sweater but turned into a bag so you almost have like these strings up at the top that can be adjustable they literally just like tie them joints but it really feels like a quality bag for 23 bucks so it can fit quite a bit of items in it it's going to be able to stretch and move however you want it to one thing i will say is this bag really isn't as noticeable so you're really going to want to use this joint dangner as like function just based off it sits really like flat on your outfits unless you want to put something in it but i know a lot of people just gonna want to get fit pics off and whatnot and i feel like you're for sure gonna need to stuff the bag or put something in the bag or else you're gonna look weird you feel me but definitely a nice bag for 23 bucks moving on we have the asos design padded lounge slippers in pink now you looking at this and i'm looking at this and we both seeing the same thing so obviously this is almost like an exact replica of i believe they're the yeezy season six slippers or the like strap slippers or whatever they're called um these are dang near like the exact same look now obviously they're not the same quality as yeezy slippers but i feel like if you just want something to walk around the house in or you just want to replicate that style i think these are definitely gonna be 
an alternative. Now, one thing I will say is they're really not that comfortable. These are also 23 bucks. So you're gonna get $23 quality when it comes to things like shoes and stuff at ASOS. But I think some of, now I don't really have these in hand to really like give you this proof but i have seen some boots on asos that really look like they're high quality so it's probably going to depend on how much money you spend like i said these were only 23 bucks but i'm assuming that you're not going to get like top tier quality out of asos shoes but these are definitely a cool option to go with if you only want to spend 23 bucks now this piece right here is also from asos design and the reason why i keep picking things from asos design is simply based off off. they're like the more designer type of cuts from ASOS you feel me so they're usually gonna have like cooler made pieces now this doesn't really like affect the quality so much but this right here is the oversized Revere polo shirt and honestly I think this shirt was really one of the most exciting pieces I was waiting to get from ordering but one thing I will say and maybe this is just me not paying attention to what I'm buying but when I bought the shirt, I was like, cool fire. I still like the shirt nonetheless. But it is kind of weird because it has one button. Like it has one button right here under the collar. And I just feel really weird about it. Cause like the rest of the shirt dang near is just like open unless you kind of like hold it in place you feel me so that is my only like downside to this shirt this shirt was 26 bucks and i feel like it's it's kind of it's worth the price i would say 26 bucks you're getting a nice quality shirt this doesn't feel like something that's going to easily rip on you or something like that so definitely well worth the price and it's like a basic essential staple you feel me so now moving on we have the asos design shirt with 70s styling in satin now obviously this isn't actual satin it just kind of replicates the look of it but I feel like this was a shirt that I thought looked really cool and I really just wanted to review it on the channel based off I wanted to see how it felt in hand and I will say that this is probably though it looks kind of cool on body and stuff like that I would say this is probably like one of the cheaper made pieces in this haul this was actually 36 bucks which is the most expensive piece that I've shown so far but this really doesn't feel like it. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's a nice looking shirt, but when you really put it on, it doesn't really feel of quality, but it does kind of look nice, I guess you could say. But in my personal opinion, would I buy this again or recommend it? Probably not. Now moving on, we have one of the more experimental pieces that I picked up in the haul. I really had no idea on how I was gonna style this or how I was gonna go about this shirt. I really was just experimenting with buying this. But this is the ASOS Design Regular Lace Shirt with Extreme Ruffle Open Chest. Now, this joint really feels super elegant. So when I bought it, I was like, yo, I'm finna make this joint super flowy. I'm probably gonna use it for a photo shoot or something like that. And I still think that I will, but I do think that the shirt is dope. I thought it would look a lot more feminine with it being lace but i feel like on body it really looks pretty smooth bro i ain't gonna lie to you now this is something that you can either wear with no shirt under you can put something under probably either white or black i feel like will complement this the most if you wear white under it it's really gonna show that lace look but honestly i think it's really cool so this was 40 bucks and i think that it's worth 40 bucks simply based off like the design of it it feels like real solid lace you feel me this does doesn't feel like one of those super like cheap thin pieces even though it's dang near like the thinnest like see-through piece ever but I think it's really dope I think they designed it pretty well it fits really well I went with a size medium which is what I usually go for like button-up shirts or like loose fitting shirts like this so definitely a fire piece I think is worth 40 bucks but hey that's me now moving on into the second to last piece now the last piece is by far the highest quality in the haul but I feel like second to last to that this right here is by far the most quality piece in the haul and what's so crazy is that this was only $17 bro so this is the ASOS design knit oversized rib half zip sweater and it's probably like one of the hardest like zip up sweaters that I even have in my closet and I'm not even like over exaggerating but this is a very very quality staple if you need something like this for this 
fall winter season now it has this nice circle zipper which almost like reminds me of like some jw anderson type beat zipper or whatever but like you can really zip this joint all the way up so this is one of those extended neck zips so you can kind of play around with it a couple of different ways depending on how much you want your neck covered and stuff like that but definitely a fire knit it's really really thick bro like thick enough to where you're like dang this feels like maybe a hundred dollar sweater you know what i'm saying but for 17 bucks i would hurry up and go and grab this joint if i was you if you just wanted something that looks similar to this but i definitely think it's well well worth the price now last but definitely not the least is this asos design wool jacket in blue now if you have been watching the channel i have shown this off before but this is an asos haul and i wanted to show off all of the asos pieces that i picked up and this is by far the best thing i've ever bought on asos now this joint is 80 dollars, so this is the most expensive item in this whole entire haul but like this was probably like the easiest and the best 80 bucks i ever spent bro like first of all y'all know how i like my tech and how I like my furs and stuff like that so this has like the perfect like wool fur on it bruh and it's in blue like this is something that you really don't see much unless you go to a actual designer clothing brand so this dang near looks like an acne studios piece or something like that and it was only 80 bucks bruh so definitely one of the most fire jackets that I have in my collection so that is pretty much it for the video let me know down in the comments which was your favorite piece or which piece you're gonna be picking up for this fall season or if you have a piece on ASOS that you feel like everybody should know about comment that joint down below too but that's pretty much it man smash the like button if you haven't yet subscribe if you I don't know how you watched this whole video and still didn't subscribe but that's neither here nor there I'll see you guys in the next one peace it's so complicated, complicated. everything around me pissed me off I tried to save it Try to save it. Tell me why.